What's up, VR fans? I'm back to help you out with some more of the top games out there that won't hurt your wall. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. After my first video like this ended up getting 155,000 views as of the time of this recording, I figured that I should slap together another one to help all of you out. Also, with there being so many videos showcasing games like this, I'm going to try to focus on the ones you hopefully haven't heard of yet. And if you wanted to expand your library even beyond this, I'm going to have some information later in this video about how you, that's right, the average you, can be a VR games tester. So let's go ahead and get into some VR games that you can download on your Quest 2 or Quest 3 right now. If you've ever been a fan of Boneworks or Bone Lab, many of the community have been calling this Downshot VR the free Bone Lab on Quest. Except this game acts as more of a social hangout sandbox rather than a progression single player with an optional sandbox. The way that the mesh colliders and the weights are, or as many of the VR community more commonly knows it as, the physics are very flushed out for a free Quest game. You can browse multiple lobbies or start your own, join in with friends, or try to make some new ones. The host can turn on certain permissions to let people have the ability to spawn in items or not. But once they give the permissions, chaos is only a few moments away. There's character customization, a good variety of maps, plenty of objects to mess around with, and funny people you can meet. But if living your life in chaos isn't quite your style, let's move on to something where you may expect to die and move on from this world. I Expect You to Die is a popular VR game series about progression puzzles where each solution you solve is preceding another issue that could be your last. However, this game is a shorter, free version that utilizes your quest mixed reality. Rather than having a series of missions, you just have the one. You're shipped home by your employers in a box, but the evil Dr. Zor has rigged your home with a few surprises. You'll have more gas than after a Taco Bell meal, an even worse time if you have a bee allergy, but mostly just shocked by the whole situation. It is a short game but if you ever wanted to experience the I Expect You to Die series and the magic of mixed reality, then you might enjoy yourself. But if having a swarm of bees in your home isn't scary enough, then this next game might tag your fancy. This is the most horrific game of tag you'll ever play in VR. Nightmare Tag is a game where half of the game is monsters and the other half is humans. The humans need to survive until the round ends, of course, and the monsters need to kill them. However, where the term tag comes into effect here is that if the monster manages to kill a human, they become a human, and the human they kill becomes a monster. It turns into a cat and mouse back and forth kind of scenario. There are also abilities that are fairly balanced between both sides. For example, the humans have a flashlight that has a limited UV on it that can slow down the monsters, and it's replenished by these random floating fish, and they can be invisible if they stand still for a period of time. The monsters are faster than the humans and can actually take out their own eyeballs and place them on surfaces which will reveal where humans are even if they're invisible. Your goal is to be a human by the end of the round where it spawns both sides in a long tunnel and the humans need to get past the monsters into the elevator and push the button to end the round and be declared a survivor. There are also viable cosmetics and game modes, but that's all you get from the free version. But if you'd rather combat your enemies with some Murica home defense, then this next game might be just what the Founding Fathers ordered. Five with the sound of music. Shootout may have the concept for one of the most interesting FPS games I've ever played in VR. Both teams start off with a limited number of weapons and attachments that increase as each round progresses. You'll start out with small firearms like pistols and work your way up to things like rocket launchers. Each round will be on a timer for things like Team Deathmatch and Capture the Flag, or could be whenever the objective completes like One Life game modes. Now the interesting thing about this particular game is actually the attachments I mentioned a second ago. These aren't just any normal gun attachments like suppressors and foregrips, you actually have attachments to increase the size of whatever your weapon produces, add fire damage, add healing properties, and whatever else you see fit from their massive selection. For example, you can see here that I used a laser and attached a healing unit on it to heal this poor random that I shot just moments before. My disappointment is immeasurable. However, each gun can actually hold two attachments and they are stackable. Here's another example where you can put multiple upscale units on a shield to make it even bigger each time. The developers are also working towards specialty combinations, so if you get the rocket launcher and put fire and ice on there, rather than it doing just fire and ice damage, it'll actually create a smoke screen. They even took the time into making attachments just for the social mode, like a banana attachment, which I have a few questions why they felt the need to add that, if I'm being honest. Because then I asked the person in front of me who I turned into a banana if I could heal them, which they respectfully responded, Let me go ask my wife if that's okay. If fun and free chaos is your thing, you might enjoy it quite a bit. But if this game is too chaotic and you want your VR life to match your real 
one, maybe you'd be more comfortable serving customers indigestion in this non-typical cooking game. Just Another Cooking Game is about you getting to run your own food truck and serve food to robots. And before you ask, no, I am not mature enough to avoid making jokes about feeding them nuts and bolts. This was actually a project created by a student wanting to make a survey about VR, and he did a surprisingly great job on how the game feels. A few people in my comments sections on other platforms that have uploaded on this have dubbed this the free job simulator VR. Craft burgers, cook fries, pour drinks, put out fires, and appease your robot overlords, I mean customers. You have a limited amount of time for each order and can try to prep things ahead of time to gain higher scores in each level, but you may get overwhelmed later on down the line. But if you're not scared of robots and you want a bit more horror in your VR library, then this next title might give you that fix. Tunnels is a story-driven game that may cause some of you with claustrophobia to throw your headset into the nearest wall. You travel outside of your home country to a small village for a job. Your objective is to plant C4 in various structure points throughout the cave and cause it to collapse, sealing the abandoned mineshaft forever. And all of the villagers really want to act like that cave just doesn't exist, but I would say it's for a good reason because there is a terrifying creature lurking down below. Make your way through the tunnels, avoid the monster, and learn more about the story that you find yourself right in the middle of. Make your way to each checkpoint and try to avoid screaming in terror from something that could chew off your face at any given moment. I think the only thing very unfortunate about the game is that it's only the early release demo because the full game isn't out yet. But demos can still be pretty cool, which I can prove in this next title. Arkaxer is a turn-based dungeon crawler where you attempt to save beings from inside the simulations that you're in there with. The properties of the simulation dictate that if you use item-based attacks, like swords or guns, you hurt yourself as well as the enemy. However, the enemies avoid this by using abilities known as hacks, which the main character, in case you couldn't tell, is you, because the main character was actually out sick, has the ability to use. Fight enemies, collect loot, level up, and purchase upgrades. You can defeat enemies in the hopes of the RNG gods giving you whatever you need, or defeat defeat enough enemies to sell their drops and buy what you really want. There's a massive amount of hacks that you can unlock, maps to explore, even a hoverboard you can unlock later on, and I've only just scratched the surface. Not only that, but you can choose to explore the dungeon in third person, first person, and there even is a mixed reality mode. While in combat, you take turns like I said earlier, and your ability to dodge the attacks, unlike the flat screen games, isn't based off of stats, but rather your real life ability to dodge the attacks. Physically moving in my play space to try to avoid getting hurt is exhilarating. It's a phenomenal game that I'm thrilled has a demo, but if you'd rather get games like this for free, then let me tell you a little bit about Impact Labs. For starters, I want to say this is not a sponsorship, just some information I wanted to throw your way. I'm sure with those of you looking at this video right now, you've probably already had targeted ads of people being like, oh, you can become a games tester, and probably thought, somebody should do this for VR. Well, Somebody has. Impact Reality has just launched Impact Labs, which is a central hub for testing a bunch of upcoming VR titles. After you apply and get accepted, you can sign up for whatever games you want, get them for free, in exchange for helping the developers by giving them feedback on the game. So you can help make VR games better before they release and get the game for free. Because I know that if any of you have ever played a decent amount of games, you've come across the classic thought of, hey, this game would be great if the devs just added this, but your store review probably won't get seen. But Impact Labs collects feedback and gives it directly to the game developer to make sure that your feedback is heard and valued. And if you need assurance of their reputation, they've worked with games like Ghost of Tabor, Among Us VR, Demio, Zenith, and even hardware companies like Behaptix and Pimax. I hope that all of you get to kill two birds with one stone by helping VR improve and getting stuff for free. But if you'd rather take down more than just two obstacles, this next title might be right up your alley. <laughs> Wisdom Watcher is a limited space, timed dungeon fight, spawning into a space where you're outnumbered 20 to 1 and you gladly accept the challenge. Fight monsters, find collectibles, open chests, discover new weapons, and obtain the highest score before the timer runs out. There isn't a large variety of weapons, nor a lot of the map to explore, but this game has scratched an itch for me where I was able to just turn off my brain and take on a horde of enemies. They also have a weekly and monthly leaderboard in case you want to see your gamer tag up in lights. However, if slicing through enemies isn't making you sweat enough, then maybe you'll like this next game just a bit more. Welcome to VR Workout. 
Also, I do want to let you know before this part continues that they're in the middle of rebranding, so if you don't see VR Workout, then try searching XR Workout. If somebody asked me to describe this game in simple terms, I would tell them it's more like a free, full-body Beat Saber with custom YouTube songs, voice commands, and hand tracking. You load in, select if you want to be alone or join up with people to work out with, select what types of workouts that you want, pick your songs, and start hitting the cues. It features using your room data to actually unlock additional workouts that you would normally require you to be up against a wall at a gym, hand tracking, mixed reality, and you can even put your own custom YouTube songs in it that play next to you while you work out inside the app. And the AI inside the game actually uses the sound from your songs to build out how the cues fly at you. They're also adding additional AI features on top of that. Not only through the voice recognition commands to help you while you play, but later on you'll be able to create full VR and AR environments based off of prompts. So you could say things like, put me inside of an active volcano and it will actually create a brand new environment specific to you based on your request. They're also working with the latest version of hand tracking, so it's more accurate than most hand tracking games that I've played, and they're trying to implement the latest full body tracking for the standalone Quest software that will allow you to have full body tracking inside this game just from the standalone Quest all for free. It's always amazed me how long the Beat Saber streamers can keep streaming stuff like this, and I can't wait to see how they handle a full body workout. But if you want to be a streamer, or yourself, then you might like this next application. VStreamer Live is a tool that lets you be a VR creator with just your standalone quest. You can record and live stream right from the app with using the features inside the app itself and the native audio equipment already built into your quest. You can mess around with different built-in emotes, props, hand tracking, and different backgrounds. You can even use custom built avatars, your avatars from sites like Ready Player Me, or even just your own meta avatar since you've already had that made. And just like how you can import your own custom avatars, you can import props as as well. It is free, but has an optional subscription service. You can still stream and record from the free version, but there is a watermark on the program. You can record videos in different formats or even stream to platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Kick, or anywhere else that you have a stream key for. It's a great tool for getting started in the VR creator space if you want to stay on your standalone quest, and I hope it helps you out. But with all that being said and done, those are 10 free games that you can download right now, and I hope they fill you with excitement, fright, and flood your brain with all the dopamine that I'm sure you didn't get by watching this video. The original video that I made that sparked what might be a new series for me in this channel will be linked at the end of this video. The subscribe button is in all the usual places if you feel generous and think I've earned it. But most of all, I hope that you have a great day in the VR gaming world. Hope to hear your thoughts in the comments section, and I'll see you next time.